Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset, and welcome back to this series called Mind War. We are doing the work to equip ourselves to fight the battle of faith in the realm of our own minds, because many times doubt and fear and anxiety and all those things are thrust into our minds through various avenues, and we've got to learn how to use the truth of God's Word to align our minds with that truth. That's what we're doing in this series on Mind War. Today, we're going to talk about our need to be able to kill the tendency toward revenge. We're going to look at that in just a moment, but I want to remind you first that this upcoming Friday, we will publish a Pray Together episode. We do that every Friday, and it's an opportunity for you to share your prayer requests or your reports of praise that we can share with the Morning Mindset community. And we all pray for it together as the episode plays. If you'd be interested in doing that, you can find the link to share your prayer request with us in the description for this episode. Or you can go to carrygreen.com, that's C-A-R-E-Y, green, like the color, dot com slash prayer. All right, let's talk about this tendency that we all have toward revenge. You know the scenarios just as well as I do. I don't really need to paint one, but it's that time when someone has done you wrong. Something painful or hurtful or deceitful or manipulative has been done toward you. And you feel this desire in your heart to get back at that person who did it. You know the feeling well. I know the feeling well. We want to pay people back. We want to be able to express our hurt and our anger and our our feeling for righteous indignation to be dealt out on that person. And friends, that attitude, though understandable, is not one that is fitting for God's holy people. And here's the reason why. Romans 12 verse 19 tells us God's attitude about revenge and God's attitude about applying justice to situations like the ones I've described. Here's what Romans 12, 19 says. Paul says, Beloved, now notice that, this is a context of love. This is a context where a mature brother in Christ is coming alongside giving us spiritual advice that is full of wisdom and full of God's heart. He says, Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, And now he's quoting the Old Testament, and this is God speaking. Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. So friends, when we have that desire to execute some kind of revenge, some kind of repayment for the wrong that's been done to us, we are stepping into the shoes of God. We are presuming that we know best how to cause that person to repay or receive punishment for what they've done. But friends, what's really happening is that we are just trying to satisfy this deep anger that we feel about being hurt. We are trying to make ourselves feel better. It's inward focused. It's not really justice focused in the end. But look at what Paul says is happening when we leave this to God. He says, when we leave it to the wrath of God, we are leaving it to God who feels true and righteous anger about the wrong that's been done. So do you know that, first of all? God is angry at the wrong and at the wrongdoer when wrong is done to you. You just need to get that in your head, first of all. I need to remember that. God is angry about this, okay? And God is the one who is better able to see all the ins and outs, and know the exact thing that was done. And as a result, know best how to respond to that. That is why in this Old Testament quotation, he says, vengeance is mine. He says, I am the one who can rightly take vengeance. I will repay, says the Lord. So friends, we have the freedom to let go of the injustices and wrongs done to us and leave them in the hands of the Lord. Because we can have confidence that he will repay and he will repay rightly in the way that's needed. So when that urge toward revenge comes, pull out Romans 12, 19 and kill it with the truth of God's word. 
battle that tendency in your own mind. Lord Jesus, help us in the midst of feelings of hurt and pain and that desire for revenge to remember Romans 12, 19 and to apply it by faith, knowing that our God will indeed repay and he will do so with perfect justice and in a way that is fitting for the crime that's been done. Lord Jesus, fill us up with yourself as we do this and give us peace as we trust you. We ask it in your name. Amen. Join me for the next 60 seconds as we pray for world spiritual renewal. Our God, we look around our world and there's so much evil going on. There's so much hardship and pain and persecution and lying and deception and government abuse of power. We just see it all around. And Lord, within us rises up this anger, this this desire for wrongs to be made right and evil to be exposed and turned around. And Lord, we know we do not have the wisdom or the insight to do that rightly. We, we just humbly admit that. We ask you to bring us to a place of humility that allows us to leave those things in your hands and to trust you that you will repay even on a grand scale like the things we're seeing going on in our world. And Lord, through that patience, through that trust, cause a light to shine in this dark world Cause others to be convicted that there is a God to answer to. And Lord, transform this world by your power. In Jesus' name.